Nicole, the math lady, and today we're working on missing number problems with fractions and decimals. Okay, that sounds all complicated, but actually, this is something you already know. It's more of a confirmation of something you already know. So here I have for you a simple missing number equation. 3 plus a equals 5. And we know that when we're trying to find a missing number in addition, we do what? We do the opposite of addition, we subtract. So a equals 5 minus 3, which is 2. We put it back in, 3 plus 2 is 5, right? Okay, well what if instead of whole numbers, we had decimals or fractions to deal with? Instead of 3 plus a equals 5, what if I had 3.6? plus a equals 5. You really shouldn't be confused by this. You do exactly the same thing. We do a missing number in addition. You keep the same rule. We do the opposite to find that missing number. We're going to subtract here. So a is going to equal 5 minus 3.6. And we're going to go over to the side and do our math. 5 minus 3.6, and we're going to add that 0 there as a placeholder so we can regroup. This goes to 4, and we have a 4 here and a 1 here. A equals 1.4. So today's lesson is really all about this. Missing numbers in addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, but instead of whole numbers, we either have fractions or decimals. Here we have a subtraction problem, and we know with subtraction problems, our job is to look close to see which one is missing. Here we have the minuend that's missing, which means we do the opposite of subtraction, we add. So B is going to equal 54 plus 82.7. Let's do that math over to the side. 54, 82.7, and there's our point, and there's our answer. B equals 136.7. So the same rule st still applied. We just did the opposite of subtraction, addition, to find our answer. Here's a missing number in addition but we're using fractions this time. Let's apply the same rule. Missing number in addition, we do the opposite, subtract to find the answer. C equals 6 sevenths minus 2 sevenths, so C is 4 sevenths. Still works the same. Take a look at this problem. 4 ninths times D equals 1. So we have a missing number in multiplication. Well, what do we do to find a missing number in multiplication? We do the opposite. We do division. Okay, so that means D equals 1 divided by 4 ninths. And we have learned that when we are dividing fractions, we do 1 times the reciprocal, which is 9 fourths. So D equals 9 fourths. And that should not be a surprise to you because remember, a number times its reciprocal always equals 1. So there you go. Really, it's just a refresher of something you already know. But instead of whole numbers, we're working with fractions or decimals. So definitely try those practice problems. Drill on them to make sure you get the concept that really, it's just the same. Okay, that's it for me today. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.